on the new iPhone 15 and the yeah. iPhone 15 Pros. I do remember flying here and I'm thinking, what could Apple possibly do? Like, what could they possibly introduce with a new iPhone? The tw Y'all know this man dropped another vid, bro. This nigga always, you know, he always the one with the tech. You know, every time he make a review, you gotta check it out. And look, he got the iPhone uh, 15 review and shit like that, man. Hey, if y'all ain't know, bro, I still got an iPhone XR. Yeah, I, I, I'm struggling, gang. Look, I'm struggling, gang. I got it's. I see eight year olds with iPhone 14s and 13s. Yeah, it's tough out here. But look, it's gonna be alright, though. 23rd iPhone. That's actually interesting. Now there is more stuff than just the iPhone that was mentioned at this wonderlust event that Apple hosted, including some stuff that straight up wasn't mentioned on stage at all. So we'll get to that. But this is just the new iPhone stuff. Okay. Phone stuff. So stay tuned and get subscribed to see the rest. But let's just talk about the new iPhone 15 and I 15 bet. Pro. So here's a lens to look at all this stuff through. Coming into this, basically everything Apple just added to their newest flagship phones falls into two buckets. It's either something we've already seen in some other phone for years, or it's some ecosystem feature that only works with other iPhones. Which yep. is not necessarily a bad thing, but it's just, just a lens to look through this stuff at, just to keep an eye on it. So this right. is the iPhone 15. There's the same two... Bro, it looked the same. The iPhone 15, it just looked like they just took the, the third the third one off. Really, for real. Sizes again, iPhone 15 and iPhone 15 Plus. And now the top look different Yeah, though, you know, there's some screen. small changes, like the slight soft corner radii on the aluminum rails and the one-piece glass back fading between a lighter and darker version of the same color, like this new pink one. It's pretty seamless. Okay. Also, satin soft touch backs across the whole lineup instead of glossy. I definitely like that. But the big headlining feature, really, is it's USB now. That's Lightning is officially dead. These new iPhones are all USB-C across the board. Now, on one hand, this is a huge deal. Like, there's only ever been one port change in the iPhone ever. Back in 2012, we went from that. Wait, so they changed the ports just like the fast charger ones? Oh, no, that's, bo that's, that's bogus. Nah, that, that's lame. I ain't gonna lie, because not everybody got them fast charger type. Like, hopefully... Damn, nah, they gonna do it for real. But bro, if they really change it, nah, it is like that already, but. Bro, who even has like multiple fast charges in their house? I got two right now. But like on a regular game, you ain't just, you just not gonna have no fast charger. Bro. Hopefully, the original uh, iPhone charger still working shit. So 30 hopefully. pin connector thing to this new lightning thing, which we've had ever since. And now the second one ever is USB type C. But on the other hand, it's, I don't know, it's just USB. Like, it's the same port all these other laptops and tablets all over the planet have had for the past couple years. I imagine it might be another year or two before the whole lineup, like the baseline cheap iPad and the iPhone SE okay. and everything else gets USB-C. But yeah, I don't know. We knew it was coming, but it's still kind of surreal to look at an iPhone and see a USB port on it. So what does this enable? It's the real question, right? Uh, first of all, it's the one cable that you can ideally use to charge all your stuff. So yeah. your Mac, your iPad, your iPhone, your friend's Android phone, the new AirPods, which just got a new USB-C yeah, case, that port is, is all that stuff, used for one a lot cable. Of stuff. Oh, and now you can charge accessories like the new AirPods with the wire. So there's no wireless reverse charging right now, but that C to C cable that comes in the box, you can like plug it into the iPhone, plug it into the AirPods and charge the AirPods up from the iPhone battery. So that's pretty cool. But Would they did hold the back on one very key thing. Well, that's actually raw, but did you think it charged uh, the AirPods in the phone? Nah, that's that's too OP. And they saved it for the iPhone 15 Pro. So I'll get to that in a bit, but that's USB-C. Aside from that, really, it's a slightly updated phone. It's a little bit of a new display. You know, you get the dynamic island here, of course, on these baseline iPhones. And there's also now a higher peak brightness, 2000 nits now, which is twice as bright as the iPhone 14s. And there's a new camera. The primary camera is now a 48 megapixel chip, presumably the same one that was in the iPhone 14 Pro oh. last year, and all the benefits that come with that. And then the rest of the phone really follows that same formula. They do this thing where the new baseline phone is basically last year's Pro phone repackaged. So it inherits the same A16 Bionic chip from last year's Pro phone. The coolest feature of this phone though, and you know, it's also in the Pro phone, but I still think it's pretty solid, is the camera has this new next generation portrait mode, but basically it automatically detects when there's a subject in a photo and okay. captures all of the depth information needed to be able to turn it into a portrait mode photo later. So you don't have to remember to switch it to portrait mode necessarily every time. 
And if you ever forget but want to add that blur later, you can do it with high quality results. So that's cool. See, that's Aside nice from that, change. the rest of the phone, I mean, it's the same thing, right? Same sizes, guys, same ceramic shield, same dust and water resistance. Well, we got to think about stuff like this. I mean, what can they even change, though? Nothing. So they really should just stop making. I mean, they could change, like, the, the digitals and the phone and shit, but you could just do that with an update. So, what iPhone you think they're going to stop it? Nah, they never going to stop making the phone. Never. That's a dumb question. My part, y'all. And same starting prices. 799 for the 15 and 899 for the 15 plus. So, 899. <laughs> <laughs> so 900 to a band on the iPhone 15. These had to be made of deli meats. Which meat would you want them to be made of? I'll pick bologna. <laughs> So then there is the Pro phones, the iPhone 15 Pro and 15 Pro Max. There is some more new here. A lot of it I'm actually wanna, gonna wanna test just to see if it's actually what they say, but make sure you get subscribed to see those full reviews when they come out later this month and we can figure out if the phones are worth it. But basically, it's not bleeding edge stuff that we've never seen before. It's just welcome stuff. Okay. And those are mostly in build quality, the chip inside, and the cameras. So let's just start with the chip inside, first of all. It's a brand new chip that's called the A17 Pro. It's the first time they've used the word Pro in an iPhone chip. And it's their first three nanometer chip. So it promises some performance and efficiency bro, improvements as a result. About I think I said it's phone, like 10% bro. faster, high performance cores, and the neural engines up to twice as fast, bunch of other stuff. Not sure how much of this you'll actually notice in everyday use, but hey, future proofing and headroom is never a bad thing. So this is clearly a powerful chip. They showed a demo of a game with like faster ray tracing, which isn't new, but you know, it helped make their point. But the interesting thing to note here with this chip is they mentioned is the chip has a new USB 3 controller on it. Type shit, okay. Which means the 15 and 15 plus don't have that. So basically that means the Pro iPhone's USB-C port actually gets upgraded USB 3 speeds, the faster data transfer speeds, up to 10 gigabits per second. But the base iPhones without that controller, they get USB-C, but they're gonna be stuck at USB 2.0 speeds, basically the same we've always had with Lightning, like 480 megabits per second. Now this probably won't make a real difference to most people, like I don't know when the last time you plugged your phone in was, but it's kind of a bummer that not all of the benefits of USB-C come to all of the phones. Uh -huh. uh, but for the pro phones that are going to be shooting more ProRes video or pro raw photos, I mean, it takes forever. If you've shot this stuff like I have, you know yeah. it takes forever to get those off of the phone because they're do. big files. So this I kind of wish sucks. they'd gone all the way. I wish they'd done Thunderbolt speeds, 20, 30, 40 megabits, gigabits per second. Uh, but which I guess it kind of embraces the raw. All right, so the iPhone 15 really look like really the same shit for real, for real. But make sure y'all like and subscribe, though. You know, follow the uh, the channel. 80% of y'all just watching and not uh, subbing. But hey, man, it's it's nice to see that it's a new new iPhone. But hey, I fought with Mar uh, Marquise, his little uh, his analysis and stuff like that. Hey, y'all go sub to bro. But look, hey. Hopefully this is interesting, man. And they got the uh the VR. Did that ever come out? I don't know. But I'll see y'all boys in the next one. Y'all stay smooth. Y'all keep God in your life. And I'll see y'all boys later, man. Peace.